Hey, what's up everyone? Mendel here. I hope you're all doing awesome and wonderful. So in this video, I'm going to show you some basics regarding uh, making a snare pop in a metal mix. So let's dig right in. Here we go. All right, so here I have a project from the band Futility. The song is called Ignorance. Um, some real, like a real heavy track. So the routing is I have my snare here. I have a snare sample here, which are both routed to a snare bus. So let's take a listen to both snares uh, on mix. Let me balance first a bit. So really heavy extreme stuff, uh, I love this band, love this band. But as you can probably tell the snare is a bit dull and it's not really popping or like cutting through. So let's fix that. So the first thing I like to do, uh, let me just put the snare sample down. Let's, let's just focus on the original snare. So this is the snare, which is pretty dull. And most of the time I do some pretty extreme EQ moves. And it, like I say this in every video, it really depends on the source. So I don't copy what I'm doing, but the overall, the overall uh, thought process is, or for me at least, most of the time with original snares, I need to crank up some, some top end. And that really helps to get a pop, like that really cuts through. So this is how the snare again sounds. And I'll just loop this part. I'm just gonna like unmute it, just play it. And while the music is running, I'm just gonna up like a ton of high end till it really cuts through. And again, the snare sample is muted. Let me just also mute the snare room sample. So now we just have the snare. And now I'll boost a ton of top end. Here we go. No, it sounds way better to me. Also because I boosted it, it's louder, but now it's where I like it. So this without it. And now with the EQ. Both of them solo are like solo and let's compare it. sounds way better and I do hear like in the midst like a sonar thing. That sounds better. Now I'm gonna blend in the snare sample and it could be that I need to lower the snare bus. But so solo, this is the snare sample. So let's just blend it in while it's playing. From the beginning. Sounds better. I think the snare sound could use the top end as well. Something like this. All right, so now what the snare definitely needs is some compression. And regarding snare compression, um, like you can find millions, millions of tutorials how a compressor works, but to simplify this to the core and I'll show you right away. 
So a late or slow attack, you keep the snap. And when you do a fast attack, that means it cuts off the transit, like the compressor works faster. And I'll show you. So let's say you have a, a fast attack, and I'll just drag to slow and just listen uh, how it responds to the snare. There you go, and the fresh release is after the attack, like how fast the uh, compressor goes back to its normal position. So what I make most of the time aim for is a late attack, uh, as fast as possible release, and a ratio around four. And with this snare, since it's already pretty snappy, but I want to have some dynamics um, like uh, leveled out, if that makes any sense, I'm aiming for not more than three decibels of gain reduction. And don't take this for a rule, but for this mix and this snare, I like to aim, well, just blow three maybe. It does make the snare a bit more punchy. What I could do is just slam it a bit more and then use the blend knob. So I really like how this is sounding. Like you can hopefully tell it's um, a bit less weak if it makes any sense. A bit more snap. Let's check it again in the mix. Now one tiny cool thing I like to do is there's a plugin called R-Base. Link for this plugin is in the description as well. It's an affiliate link, so if you use it, it really helps me out. But this could like fatten up the snare a bit. And be careful with this. Well, I, to be honest, I have to be careful with this because sometimes I use too much. Let me just make this a bit bigger. There we go. Let's use a different skin. Dark. There we go. Now nah, let's go for nostalgia. There we go. But this adds like, I also use it on bass a lot, but for snare it could be cool when you put it around 100 hertz and then blend it in. So now it would be probably too much. You hear that, it, there's like a ton of body in there. But perhaps let's see what the intensity does when we just like turn it up. So it's now all the way down. So that to me sounds better. Just check it from the intro again. So just to compare that, we have... It adds a bit more body, which I really like. So before and after, and there's gonna be like a big, big volume difference, but just just for fun, I guess. So this is without the processing. Big difference, right? So let's just listen to solo again. So turn the EQ and these plugins over here. And there you go, there are some basics for mix mixing a snare in a, in a metal track. Let, let's, let's just wrap this up with some more metal, right? Let me just add the um, snare room. There we go. 
from the top. Love this track. So right, there's some cool basics for mixing a snare in a metal track. If you have any questions about this stuff, hey, just let me know in the comments. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that belly thing. That's much appreciated and see you next time. Cheers. Mm -hmm.